What's up guys, Ice Phase here and today we're playing Valorant Legends once again. We are on the Ice Phase account and today we're going to be talking about bounty, bounty offers, the benefits of buying the VIP Orange Bounty Pass and yeah just overall get on into it. So what I'd like to say first of all guys I don't have the purple bounty offer because it guarantees you a purple bounty on the first refresh every day but you're going to get a few anyway. Um, I like the orange bounty offer though because it's guaranteed at the third refresh of every day. <coughs> now what I'd like to talk about first is that there's a few events where the bounty offers will come into play. So as you can see here, good old Margaret's got the secret bounty offer. So this resets in 22 days. I have to complete 85 star bounty offers and accept 150 bounty offers still. What this means is with the bounty offers guys, you can actually start doing one. So, for example, I've got a few on the go here, but not claim them. It's once you claim them that they actually add on to that total. So, throughout the weeks and the days, you can be refreshing, and I should be getting an orange now, like I am. As you can see by the VIP bonus that I activated, I'm going to go ahead, auto-dispatch, and then that has added them here. Another thing you can do is actually lock and unlock bounty offers. What this means is you can save the bounty offer for another time. Maybe you don't have enough of the bounty offer clues and you want to, you know, save them for the next day. Or, like I just said, save them for where they tie in with an event and you can go ahead and do that. So, first of all, what I want to talk about is the sorts of bounty offers I accept. So, I take the summoning books. I'd normally stay away from most blue ones unless I am in need of gems or I want to have more gems for a certain event. But I take the gold for definite because gold is very, very precious. And if we can get another one in a second here. So another gold, we're going to go ahead and dispatch on that one. So we only have 50 clues left. So gems at 120, I definitely take. I don't really tend to take one hour tokens because I feel like I can get better. Unless I am really, really low on these refreshes. And then I will start to take a bit more stuff. But with these clues, you're going to gain quite a lot of good resources. Especially if you're doing this quite a lot. And this is how I predominantly get most of my summoning books for big summoning videos. Along with maybe one or two purchases. Then that gives me a nice, decent thing to do in the video for you guys. To see if I can get lucky. But like I said, guys, we're going to go ahead and take all of the higher value so for these ones, the Enhancement Stones, guys, they are actually pretty useful, especially earlier on in the game when you want to get more stuff upgraded. I stay away from these Forest, Legion, Undead fragments for the time being. I was doing them at the start when I wanted to push more of them heroes, but as it stands right now, I'm actually doing okay. We're going to go ahead and take these Armor Upgrades. Another book. We definitely like books. Keep on clicking through. We definitely like gems. And as you can see, guys, we've got 25 left and 42k. As you can see, they cost 8.6 each. Another three hour. We're definitely going to take that. And this cost does reduce if you're high up VIP level. So we can go ahead and get a couple more in. We'll keep refreshing. Another book is fabulous. Oh, a book and some gems. So that's it, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and lock this one. And then I'm just going to do a couple more refreshes down to 10. So the random, I actually am going to lock that as well because you can get a light and shadow fragment. So what this means, guys, is it has actually added on to my amount that I need to accept. So if I'm getting a bit closer to the time where I actually need to, you know, hurry up and do this, I will start to accept blue ones. But for the most part, I tend to try stick for purple tier and above bounty offers. Of course, this is going to give you good kingdom medals in which you can purchase heroes of your own choice. Which, as always, is a very, very good thing to do. That is the main thing about bounties, guys. If you want to know ways in which you can get more of the clues, idle chests. There's also another way in the land of departure if you go to Magic Expedition. There is a thing called the Mysterious... So we'll go ahead and skip a couple levels of these because they are quite easy to do. We'll keep going. I can click Auto Next Level. Keep skipping. We'll get 15 levels done quickly. 
we can clear these guys easy because we're 50 levels above them. Don't even really have to think about it strategically. I will a little bit later down the line, around 40 to 60 level. That's when it starts to get a lot trickier. But the initial levels are pretty easy. Um, but this is not a Magic Expedition video. It's just ways in which you can get more clues and the refreshers. Let's keep on going. Also, guys, doing your daily gives you this stuff, so I will show you that as well. So, 15 levels done. That is the minimum rewards achieved. And then we go ahead and click the fragments, gems, points, gems. So then we've got the mysterious merchant. As you can see, I got bounty off of passes and I got bounty off of clues. I'm going to go ahead and purchase all of these. And I'm going to take five clues. <coughs> then we can come back to our bounties and you can see we've got 33k. So we're going to go ahead and do a free refreshes. Another book is always nice. Three hours, nice again. 120 gems, always nice. Two books, so we're going to go ahead and lock that one. And it's as simple as that, guys. It's so easy to achieve. You've also got your dailies that give you clues, unless there's an event on. But as you can see, we've got the pass offers here. Really, really nice, good stuff. We've got a weekly task done. So, yeah, that's it, guys. That is the guide to the bounty. Super, super easy. It is a bit RNG related as to what you're going to get, but that bounty, orange bounty pass is good because it means you're, every third refresh of the day, you're going to be guaranteed an orange quality objective to do. So yeah, that being said, if you have enjoyed, guys, do smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. We've got tons and tons of Valor Legends content. Check out the whole channel. And that being said, I'll see you all on the next one.